My client's out in California. She's 82 years old. She's legally blind. She makes breakfast and lunch, has had this restaurant for the last 40 years. She has government employees that eat there. She said they're like her kids because they've eaten there almost every day forever, and she loves them. She had to get registered to keep them. I was at a convention for a week, and this guy called her and told her she needed a GSA or she was going to lose all her government business. Almost, they basically had her in tears, and she gave him a credit card for ten grand to get on a GSA schedule to sell frozen foods to the federal prison system. And that's not what she does. She makes fresh food every day. He took advantage of her ignorance. He scared her by telling her she was going to lose her clients. Fortunately, in California, in that county, it's against the law to take advantage of elderly people. So not only was I able to help her get her money back, but we were actually able to get them prosecuted uh, for a felony, which was nice. Um, mm -hmm. They're out there, and they want your money, especially GSA. There's thousands of companies that are going to tell you you need a GSA. If you want to know if you need a GSA or not, you go to the Federal Procurement Data System, fpds.gov, just like this fpds.gov. You type in your industry. Now, I had a guy call me and he said, I was told I need to get on a GSA schedule. They provide swimming lessons. S-W-I-M-M-I-N-G-L-E-S-S-O-N-S. -S -S -S. Hit enter. There's only 12 contracts in the system under swimming lessons. So this isn't 100% accurate, and this system only tracks less than 10% of the spending, so it's not going to tell me across the board 100%. But if GSA doesn't show up in here at all, it's not likely that they need a GSA schedule if GSA mm -hmm. doesn't buy swimming lessons. Um, here's another example, which is mind-boggling. If you cross-reference these between the two systems, USA Spending and the Federal Procurement Data System, you'll, you'll see how these systems only track a percentage of the spending because they never agree with each other. USA Spending under popcorn. shows 517 contracts, 517 transactions, totaling $43 million the government has spent on popcorn. If you look in the federal procurement data system, it shows 238 opportunities, whereas USA Spending is showing 517. So it's not agreeing right there. But at least we know, based on that small percentage of spending, in the popcorn arena, GSA has made up 35 of the 238 purchases for popcorn. So GSA does buy popcorn. But at 35%, that's 33 and a third per hundred. So it's about 12, it's about 10%, a little under 10%, a little over 10% of the total spending, right? 35 of, no, 5%. I'm doing the math right. Anyway, long story short, you, you get where I'm coming here. Uh, in this arena, if you wanted to increase your business by 10%, getting on a GSA schedule would, would give you that. But these guys will call you up and tell you you could triple your income. You could, you could you know, make billions of dollars this year on your GSA schedule. And they don't care about whether or not you're going to benefit. They just want your money straight up. So long story short, I'm sorry I'm on this rant because it happens all the time. Don't buy anything from anyone without checking with me first, and you'll never run into that problem. I also have an article on my LinkedIn about how to determine if someone's a scam or a ripoff. Uh, it's a very good article. I've gotten a lot of positive response on it. And if you follow those instructions, 99.9% .9 of the time, you will never get ripped off again.